Hey friends, I'm rocking my golf cart real hard here in Darkness Falls, Seven Days to Die, Alpha 20. Loving this playthrough. So an exciting episode. It is our first horde night here. We got to get ready for that. We got to get ourselves some ammo and stuff together. We've built a little bit of a preliminary base over there. It's got some cobble and stuff going on. I don't think we're going to survive this horde night. I, I really, really don't. But for now, I got to get my butt up and get all of this nice and organized. We just came back from a little bit of a loot run to kill some time here before horde night. So one thing we need to make a lot of, our primary weapon here this Horde Knight, is going to be an iron crossbow. Now, I also do need to get myself some repair kits as well. We're running really low on those. I, so, I should have some iron sitting around. We do. We have 92 right here. The thing I might be short on is definitely duct tape and glue. Oh, there's our first uh, little bolt of lightning here. I'm going to make a quick mark, a uh, quick waypoint over here. I need to grab myself some water. We need to make ourselves some glue here so we can make uh, repair kits too. So the time is coming, folks. I don't have a watch, so I have no idea what time it is. I'm going to have to really keep my eye on the sky. I've also been told to look out for a fire hydrant so things give water as well. I haven't come across one yet, or really noticed one, but I will try to keep an eye out for them. Got some food going on in the fire here. We have some pure mineral water. We have some boiled water. We also need to find, I think we might have ourselves, some good food too. Let's take a quick look here. No, I do not. Okay, so no buffs on that front for Horde Knight, but I am going to take some honey just in case I get an infection. That way I can be cured and safe for a little while. Okay, let's make up a bunch of glue here. That's going to take six minutes. I'm going to actually cancel that water there. I'm, I could have stole some of that. But that should be good enough here to make a few repair kits for us. And actually, in the meantime, I should be able to build a few. Oh, for repair kits, I forgot. They are actually much more complex in this mod, so we're going to need some mechanical parts and some oil as well to make those. Mechanical parts, oil, good to go. Nice. Three extra repair kits here right away. Okay, and we should be able to make uh, at least just, yeah, one more repair kit. That should be more than good enough. So i got to get rid of a lot of this stuff here. We have a lot of extra crap on us. Oh, I forgot we made a whole bunch of stone crossbow bolts. Holy crap, so we don't even need to make those. Nice. Oh, and we do have bacon and eggs, guys. Bacon and eggs? I'm happy. That, that just made my day right there. Okay, taking a look at the night sky here. It's getting late, but it's not that late yet. So I'm going to get caught up on my food here and make sure my water is good. Just uh, use this boiled water and whatnot. And I, what I'm going to do in the meantime here to pass some time is just start taking out some of these trees and stuff that are nearby. That way, in case Horde Knight starts quickly on me, I can run over here on top of my ladder and then on top of this really precarious um, base over here. <laughs> I don't think that thing's going to last us a Horde Knight. Well, we got to do it for science though, right? I've actually never on the first Horde Knight on Darkness Falls made my own Horde base. So guys, I want to apologize about the lack of videos last week, but it's been a busy week here. I think newsworthy and uh, in my personal life as well. Just doing a whole bunch of paperwork for all the legal stuff and whatnot. And... I want to give a quick shout out here to all of my new members that I got in that time. Uh, Mary Hannah, thank you very much for the rejoin. Nuggety86, thank you for joining with the fist boot, buddy. Brock Dupono, yep, yeah, man. Uh, thank you for the rejoin. Alan Hyde, thank you for the cup of joe, buddy. William Spaulding, thank you for upgrading to the fist boot. And Joe Charles, thanks for the rejoin. Pretty damn awesome, guys. I really do appreciate the support. Even through a week where I wasn't really active too much. You guys have been pretty damn awesome. And I want to thank you for coming back as well. And uh, let me know, guys. How's your week been down in the comments? I'd love hearing from you. That sun's getting pretty damn close to the ridge. So we're going to stick a little closer to home. And maybe take out 
a few of these local zombies here that are coming wandering in. The less zombies we have here on the first Horde night, I think the better. Fingers crossed we'll, we'll have a decent one. Let's check this out here. We're level 10. Game stage 24, we've killed 298 enemies and uh, died once. Yeah, Darkness Falls always, always gets me. Uh, now, I do believe, yes, we have three skill points available, guys. I've been saving those, and I keep forgetting to spend them here on uh, recording. So I'm going to go ahead, jump up on my uh, invincible horde base up here. Watch, they just end up getting up through the house somehow. I, there's a path up here. Uh, anyway, let's go up here. I'm going to take a quick look here and see what I want to invest in. So I'm going to go ahead with Robin Hood here, just a little bit, just to help us with the iron crossbow. I'm going to assume that this is a weapon we're going to be using for quite a while here at the beginning of this mod. Not really sure, though, on how much ammo we do get, but... Hey, it's always worth a look, right? Holy crap, it's getting really close. I'm going to take this uh, guy out. That was easy. I'm going to take this guy out, get back up there, and we have two more skill points to spend. So I think a couple skill points here into Iron Gut. It reduces water and food loss by 20%. So we're going to put that in there and reduce the food struggle here initially in the game. And look at this, guys. It is coming down to Horde Night here. How long will Skippy survive? We will find out. Oh, boy. Whoa, everything just lit up real red like a light came on. Oh, that means it's hard night, guys. It's happening. Here they come. Wow, look at them all already. Oh, and we got night spawns coming in too. So we're going to get an initial one, two punch here on Horde Night, it looks like. Okay, well, to be fair... It looks like the zombies are kind of spreading out a bit. So the trick really, I think, is to kind of move around and make the zombies coming in move from pole to pole. That way they spend less time actually uh, pounding on the poles themselves right there. We go one down. Oh boy, can we keep up with this though? That is the question. There we go. Trick is to try to get those headshots in. I wish I, I kind of wish I lit this up a little better for you guys, but... We'll have to deal with what it is here for Horde Night. I also don't want to get any screamers here. Okay, so it's starting to get a little hectic. We do have some bullets. So let's go ahead and uh, start popping some heads here. I'm going to be very careful with these. Oh, no. Right through the pole. You're not allowed to do that. Damn you. Oh, I got her in the leg. At least this is not headshots only. If I do miss and hit their body, I'm at least getting some damage done here. Okay, so uh, let's take this out, the shotgun, and see how just effective this thing is. Hmm. Looks like each of these poles has about an equal amount of zombies. Damn it, looks like I'm missing with this. <laughs> oh no! I do not use the shotgun very much at all, guys. Okay, no, that definitely hit him. Okay, we're good. It's just very, very slow. But that's okay, because we shouldn't have too much, I think, in the way of numbers here on uh, this Horde Knight. I am, I'm honestly kind of thinking the shotgun is slower than my crossbow for taking out zombies. So we may as well stick with the crossbow here. And uh, completely miss their heads. I think I do hear zombies up in the house. I hear glass breaking, so yeah, look at this uh, this old spider zombie here. This is a Tom zombie. Um, looks like he's trying to break into the actual house itself. So that's a thing. Maybe there's a path for them to get up here through the house. Oh, no, they've already taken out a pillar. <laughs> That's okay. You guys bash at that, then. That's You're really not going to make too much progress over there. Oh, we got a dog? Huh. Okay, well, the dogs turn out to be rather easy. Nice. Two stone arrows to the head and the dog's down. Oh, no. 
Did I hear a bird? Oh, I did. Got him. Okay, we're good. We're good. I'm gonna move these guys over here. It sounds like we got another dog coming in too. Glad I'm not down there. Dogs suck on Horde Night. Oh, we have two dogs going on. I wonder if it'd be more effective here to use a shotgun on a dog's head. Huh. Well, for science, saw to hurt another bird. Okay, so that took a whole round. Yeah, it's almost just easier with a crossbow, I think, at this distance, at least. What is up, Doug? These guys here, actually... Whoa! Did I get them? Okay, down, down. We're still good, guys. We're still good. We're still standing. We've had a couple birds, but we've been able to handle it. Let's take out this guy here. I don't care if they pound on the house, actually. They can pound on the house all day long. And you know what? I think what I think we're going to do is go after the zombies here. Oh, no. It looks like we have two poles out right in the middle. Okay, we got to be real careful, guys. Oh, nice. That guy's down. Oh, no. I hear another bird. Here it is. Come at me, bud. Yeah, he's out of here. Okay, we're good. We got this under control. Ooh, that dog sound makes me nervous every single time I hear it. <laughs> I do not like that sound at all. Okay, we have a spider in the mix now, too. Stupid little jumpy guy. I do believe we're high enough that spiders cannot get to us, so we're, we're fine. Okay, doing okay so far. There we go. What happened? No, I think that spider died. It's just body just disappeared, apparently. Okay, we got another bird incoming over here. There we go. I love playing baseball with the bird's faces. I will have to say, playing base day one with headshot only made me a lot better with the birds. It's just really about patience, right? And not panicking. And waiting until their head is like right in plain view and just donk. They're, they're rather easy to take out that way. Okay, wow. I thought we weren't going to have enough ammo here for Hard Knight, but looks like our bow is going gonna, is gonna to push us through. Oh, didn't hear you. Whew. Got him with this. So, holy crap. What just spit? What just spit? Oh, I hope it's not a cop or anything here. Oh, no. Oh, it is too. Okay, well, I know what we can do here. Completely miss our officer friend. There we are. I'm not gonna get him to spit at the house if you. Whoa! Okay, he's down. <laughs> We're good. We're good. Oh, look at this. The dogs are biting at the house. That's okay, though. Bite away. Maybe it's a better idea to stand at the outskirts over here. Oh no! What? Another cop again? First horde night, we're getting uh, police officers already. Whoa! Let's see if the uh, shotgun here helps us with our officer friend. What was he spitting at? Where is he even? Oh, I see what they're doing over here. They're trying to make a path up to me along this house. Ooh, -hoo. that was close. This is not very effective for this police officer. Uh, come back over this way, bud. Okay, he's crouching and doing weird crouching things. Whoa! That guy's like a freaking ninja. Spits around the corner. This isn't Call of Duty, bud. Okay, uh... Handgun it is, then. I think it'll be much more effective with this guy. Oh, we got him! Nice. <laughs> yes, we're still standing, guys. We're still standing. Now we have, what, one, two, three, four dogs down there. And I think this calls for a shotgun right here. There we go. Not a very powerful shotgun, but... It's good in the pinch, right? Okay, see? We've got one dog down. Put that headshot there. 
Two dogs down. Okay. Let's get this lady off the uh, off that support over there. I actually want these guys maybe to come out here because if there's going to be a collapse, I want it on the outside. And uh, not in the middle of the base, right? There we go. There we go, guys. Oh. We got a soldier down here. So what we're going to do then is switch to the iron crossbow bolts. And do a wee bit more damage to this guy here. Because it looks like they're going to get the through the pole real quickly. And you got to remember too, the more zombies attacking the same block, the more damage they do, right? So spreading these guys out. Oh, damn it. Spreading these guys out is definitely in our best interest. Yeah. We got to go over here. If they take out one more pole, that thing's that whole thing over there is going to collapse on us. There we go. Holy crap, it's holding up on all four. What in the world? Ooh. There's some real destruction going on down below, guys. Okay, I got to concentrate here again. What's up, soldier? Okay, soldier's down. His body just uh, disappeared in its own animation. Uh, so let's back up a little bit here. It sounds like they're all in the house now. And really, that's not what I want. I want them coming outside. Okay, here we go. We got a dog back outside. We got two dogs back outside. There we go. One dog down. Let's get this other one over here. These guys have been around for a while. These dogs blasted. Okay, what's up, buddy? Come over this way. I can't believe how well this base is holding up with even like four pillars missing on it. For some reason that doesn't make sense to me. But I'll take it. I'm surviving. We're alive. Somehow. It's magic. What's up, friend? Where are you gonna go? There you go. I bet that hurt. We're using iron crossbow bolts now. We got these as a quest reward right before hard night. What a handy thing to get. Complete win on that one. Okay, so they're still banging around down there. Uh, I don't know if these are new spawns coming in or if these guys just came from the outsides, but I'll take it. Still banging away over there. Okay. Yeah, it looks like they're coming in and out of the house here. Guys, come out this way. I want to play over here. Look at all the loot bags. I can't wait to see what is up for loot on Horde Night here. Uh, okay, so we got... Oh, damn it. Oh, we got one banging on this pillar over here. Oh, my God. How is this standing? We got one pillar left. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, they, this ain't right. This is... I, I, wow. Okay. It's a very effective design. Apparently. There we go, another zombie down. So we'll definitely have to make this bigger here for our other Horde Knights. So we don't have a repeat of this madness here. There we go, he is down. We got the Spides over here. These guys are the most annoying of all the zombies. They're so hard to hit. They jump all the time. Okay, we got them. Come on and play, guys. I'm going to see if I can drag them out this way here by going out here. Yeah. Yeah, they're kind of derping out now that they really don't have much to hit for pillars. Oh, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no. I think that, I think that would be the end of us. There we go. Come back over this way, then. They know where that one last support is. Not a good thing. Okay, we got this guy growing over here. I took out his leg earlier. Then never bothered doing anything, but... I'll take him out of his misery. Oh, nice. Loot bag for that guy. I'm really nervous about what's happening below here. I'm going to have to keep an eye out for any breaking metal. If they get onto this roof, it is game over for us. Okay, 
Okay, well, just keep slowly taking these guys out here. It looks like there's a sweet spot right about here that makes them come outside. So there you go. You guys are so lucky that's not a real tank. Actually, I'm lucky that's not a real tank. These guys already died. They don't care. Okay. Looks like we got most of these guys outside here. Slowly picking away at them. We're safe, though. It looks like my design wins. It's kind of. As long as it stays up, we got to keep them away from that corner hole over there, I think. Doing okay here. I got this guy right in the leg. What you get for getting your head in the way there, lady? They're slowly running out of iron arrows or iron bolts. What I'm going to do is switch back over to stone. And just uh, launch a few of those off. I mean, we got to be coming close to morning. We've been doing pretty damn decently. It hasn't been too crazy of a horde night, and for some reason our our base is still standing somehow. Oh, that was a nice headshot on that one. That one is incredibly satisfying. Okay, keep coming outside here, guys. You don't want to be in that house. There's nothing in there for you. There we go. Okay, another one down. Beautiful. I don't think there's any banging on that pole over there. Uh, let's go back this way here and take a little bit of a look. Nope, we're good. We're good. As long as we stand right about here, I think uh, we shouldn't have to worry about them. Uh, hitting up on that pole. Hey guys, come outside. They're definitely doing some death and destruction in that place, I can tell you what. Okay, here we go. Oh, oh, oh those headshots, so satisfying. Nice. My skill in archery has increased, so if you guys don't know, you actually have to level up your skills by using items and doing things in order to invest skill points in them. So that's a difference between Darkness Falls and Vanilla, and I honestly really like that balance. That's kind of how it was in old Seven Days to Die, and uh, I'm a big fan of it. I'm used to the new stuff, but I do miss the old stuff. Hey, did we clear Horde Knight? I hear a couple, like, in the house. But it doesn't seem there's any more joining. Holy crap, we did it, guys! On top of our simple little base here. Okay, so we got one, two, three coming in over here. Looks like they've been doing damage to each other. I shot them at some point. There we go. One is down. This big guy here, he had a little bit of damage to him. You can't see the health bars through bars, guys. That's why you're not seeing them here. But... Guys, that's it. We did it. We cleared a Darkness Falls Horde Knight. That is incredible. Oops. Okay, I was going to say, do we have enough ladders to get up? We still do, just in case something hairy happens. Okay, let's make sure our handgun is loaded and go and take a look here at all of our loot. It's morning time! Oh, that's sick! So we totally cleared Horde Knight, and now it is morning time. We got another uh, pistol there and 40 ammo. Ooh, that's sick. Are these... Okay, there's uh, running shoes in the game that are actually really, really good, or in the mod. I do believe they should still be in the mod, but... There we go. Okay, so what I'm going to do, guys, if you see me sell... Uh, hazmat stuff it's because i already have a set so i'm just selling the extra stuff i know i need them okay look at this this block here is heavily damaged and all of our other blocks are gone but we made it guys we made it through a whole horde night that is sick and you know what for funsies let's do a treasure map here how far away is this treasure it's uh north northeast 
Oh, that's not too far away. We can get in our go-kart, go look for some eggs and stuff and have a good little drive. Maybe make some bacon and eggs when we get back home. We got to look for some meat too. And we also need animal fat. So that's going to be a win-win right there. But I got to drop off all my loot from Horde Night, get my eats, get my water back up, get reorganized, and I'll see you guys over there. Alright, well that was fun. Killed a whole ton of zombies, killed a bunch of animals here. We have 66 raw meat, 13 animal fat on us, so looking pretty good. Got this scrap iron club here as a drop. So that's melee damage is 17.7, and this one is 22.2. Now how much does this use? 17.9 stamina, and this uses 15. Okay, so our bat is still better, so we will turn you into Trader Cash Scrap Iron Club. Now, in the meantime, I need to dig myself a hole and find myself some treasure. Okay, and because I forgot this is Darkness Falls, guys, screw it. You know what? I usually don't do this, but we're, we're going to cheese it. I mean, why not? Is that it right there? What is that? I'm just looking a little weird. Oh, there are just little holes all over the place. There it is. All the way over there. Okay, I'm going to dig my way towards it here. So the thing about Darkness Falls is, as a character, you can actually crouch through a one block space. Now, the reason you can't do this in vanilla is pretty obvious because, well, it allows you uh, to do this. Now, in previous seasons, I didn't actually do it this way, but you know what? Why not this time around? Oh, wow, look at this. I actually can't crouch through a one block dirt space. Okay, that must be new. That's okay, though. We got this. There we go. It's off a little bit, but that is okay. We now have more dirt to build more cobblestone with. So that was a little bit of a win, too. 828, not a bad little count. All right, I'm going to go ahead and start banging on this thing here. Oh, it's going to take a while. Oh, guys, what am I doing? Why am I banging through this here? I have myself a crowbar. Ah, oh, there we go. So much faster. Oh, my God. That was, that was really, really stupid. Okay, we're open. Ooh, wow. Look at all the stuff we got here. We got banded armor plate. We got the iron breaker mod. That's sick. We got exploding crossbow bolts. That's going to be sick for next hard night. We got a helmet light mod. Always good to have an extra one of those. And some random ammo. Wow, that treasure map was like OP. We need to do those all the time. Okay, so I just dug straight down this time. I didn't create a ramp or anything. I was way too lazy. Let's go ahead. Nerd pulled my way out of here. I got to go and find my golf cart because I ended up actually going for a stroll trying to kill animals and chasing animals all over the place. Ooh, speaking of animals. Look at here. You have some more bacon.
There we are, golf carted at home pass. Our really damaged horde base over here that's standing on one almost broken leg, which is pretty awesome. That thing was barely just enough to survive the first horde night, so I am super happy with that. So first mission here is to get some bacon and eggs on the way, and we need to get ourselves a mortar and pestle from the trader. We cannot make one of those. We don't have it unlocked and we can't do the things. And these things are actually integral. We can make juice in these and it'll give us good um, health and uh, stamina boost here. So I want to get that done as soon as possible. I'm going to grab the trader cash here, get this all kind of organized and I'll see you guys in a moment. Bacon and eggs, guys. Bacon and eggs. Okay, it sounds like we have some company here. Holy crap, I think we actually have a wandering hordes on our butt. Uh, so let's jump out here. Let's assess the situation. Yeah, there's definitely a few zombies around. Let's go ahead and bust some heads here because if we don't, they'll still be here when we come back. Oh, level 12, two skill points to spend and it's getting sunny out. Oh my God, could this day get any better? And lay down. All right, looks like it's actually daytime spawns as well. A whole bunch of daytime spawns this time around. Oh, yes, yeah, so let's take a look here, guys. I almost forgot 362 enemy kills. How many did we kill on Horde Night? Let me know down in uh, the comments below. All right, let's go ahead, get on my mini bike or my mini bike here. <laughs> Uh, my golf cart, this thing is awesome, and go and visit our trader. All right, Jen, what is going on with you? I think well, the uh, well, I think the vending machine right, is also reset for us guys, which is pretty damn cool. Uh, I meant to actually go and see what you have here. Don't let a zombie for, die bite you in the uh, ass for jobs. The way and if he does, hey, we'll take care of it for you. So we have a clear zombies. I'm going to go ahead and accept soon, that one. Nice and we also you. want to see her inventory here. Ah, uh, mortar and pestle. It's 3,500 coin. Ouch. Okay, so it looks like we will have to save up a little bit more to get that, but we should be able to do Sorry, a quest or two Didn't and be able I... to afford that rather easily. So I'm definitely going to buy whatever is in the vending machine here. Uh, I, de I don't want those. Those have a high chance of food poisoning. But with a certain pill, we can eat those. You know what? Those can all stay. They're all crap anyway. Wait, what was the reset? Day 13. Oh, never mind. All right, guys. I guess that is it for this episode. Unfortunately, I am out of time for today. I want to thank you guys for being here. You guys are awesome for occasionally watching an ad when you can. That means a lot to me. It helps me get paid. And uh, for watching the video to the end. If you have, let me know. I'd like to hear from you too. All right, guys. Stay classy and always back up them game saves. Do you want?